Just to remind you guys, it's 40 degrees out. I don't have gloves and I'm busting my ass doing movie reviews. Continuing with the James Bond saga, I'm gonna start at the beginning and work my way forward now. So that's the first entry, Dr. No. Uh, this is the one that really put Sean Connery on the scene. There are some iconic lines and imagery here, but it's not quite the James Bond you may remember. So uh, yeah, Bond is introduced in this casino, and it's like Bond, James Bond. You see this clip in a lot of places. But he meets up with this gal, Sylvia Trench. Uh, nothing really comes with her, but uh, he gets some orders to uh, go to, I think, the Bahamas, uh, Nassau, to uh, investigate this uh, Dr. No. And uh, as he gets there, it's uh, it's because they lost contact with uh, an agent, Strange Ways. So he's really supposed to investigate that, and that's how he comes across the Dr. No scheme. And in trying to do this, you see uh, a few of the Bond staples. Money Penny, M, Q isn't there yet. Bond really acquires no gadgets. He gets a Sunbeam Tiger delivered to him via like Hertz rental car, essentially. And he doesn't have any gadgets. Uh, but he's supposed to meet up with Felix Leiter. So first movie for that character is the FBI pal. And this is like the first time they're meeting. And uh, Bond uh, essentially teams up with his contacts on the island. There's this guy who, he was like a tough guy at first. He's willing to fight Bond. Then he hears he's one of the good guys. And he becomes like a scaredy cat uh, stereotype in a way. Like, Massa, no. There's dragons on that island. I'm scared. And, uh, yeah, they head to the island. They find a girl who's going there to, to get coral. And that's uh, Honey Rider, played by Ursula Andress, who is credited as the first Bond girl because she's the main Bond of the film. I'm sorry, the main girl of the film. Not helpful, even though she's carrying a knife. But if you think about it, Sylvia Trench has the first appearance. Anyhow, um, yeah, I'm, I'm trying to jog here. It's 40 degrees. It's a little rough, rough on the throat here. Bond sits down and talks to Dr. No, who I think is a lot of inspiration for Dr. Evil. Dr. Evil's kind of Blofeld and Dr. No. But he's, he's like mixed race, has some issues, has a, what, a metal hand or something? Not a whole lot's really brought to that. But he has, he has a reactor, Bond fights with him a bit, shuts it down. Um, you know, before all this kind of started up, there, there was a kind of funny scene where there's a tarantula. Uh, Dr. No has these hitmen who need to knock out Bond. One of them leaves a tarantula in Bond's bed. And it just kind of crawls up this glass that's between Sean Connery and the tarantula. Like, no spy dush. So, yeah, the I guess Sean didn't want the tarantula on him. So you have Stuntman, and then the shots with him in frame, and there's a pane of glass. You know, it... And there's also a miniature that's not to the scale that you would like. But you know, this is just starting out for Bond. Just kind of setting the foot, treading new water. Uh, Bond gets away with Honey Rider. They get picked up at sea by Felix. And then in their making out session, Bond lets go of the rope that's towing them back. Just like, screw it. I'm hoping he's thinking they'll turn around soon. You know, after a few minutes of this. But I, I kind of enjoy it. Yeah, and I think in large part because Sean Connery is just awesome. Uh, he is what James Bond is all about here. Looks good. Kick some ass. Get some ass. Yeah, I give Dr. No three out of four stars. <laughs>